As we mentioned earlier, we did get a tragic update earlier after four Americans were abducted in Mexico. Investigators say two of the four Americans were found dead. The other two are already safe back here in the U.S. The four crossed the border for a medical procedure, even though the State Department has issued a series of travel advisories for parts of Mexico. So what should you do now or someone you know if you're planning a trip down south of the border. Robert McDonald is a criminal justice professor at the University of New Haven, and he's joining us right now with more details on this. Uh, thank you very much for being here this afternoon. Very disturbing when we read about the details of what happened. So I do want to start with the kidnapping. How common is something like this? Well, good evening, Mark. Nice to be back with you. You know, I think it depends on where you're located, for example, in Mexico. If you are at a resort or a, a normal travel location or a popular travel location, I think that your chances of being kidnapped or uh, running into something that serious are uh, very much diminished. But if you're finding yourself at you know, outlying border crossings or obviously in the locations where a lot of the drug cartels are located, you're setting yourself for so, you're setting yourself up, excuse me, for some serious difficulties. Obviously, a lot of people go to locations, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, places like that this time of year. And I'm sure a lot of parents are thinking, my gosh, my child is about to head down to Mexico coming up. And is the idea here, if you're going to one of these resorts to really just kind of maybe stay in that area, stay in that safe location? Exactly. Go enjoy the weather. Go enjoy the beach. Go enjoy everything that's going on at that all inclusive or that hotel location. Do not venture off because very quickly you can find yourself uh, in a location uh, that's not very good or conducive to being safe. So you want to watch yourselves around ATMs. You want to watch yourselves in the various bars and restaurants that you're going into. I wouldn't be wearing a whole lot of jewelry and advertising any wealth that you might have with you. Um, Keep your uh, locations uh, well noted with family members back here. Uh, download the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program onto your phone so that we can monitor or your location can be monitored. And follow any alerts that are coming up on the State Department website or on Facebook and Twitter. It's very important to be situationally aware of where you are, whether it's on that property or if you do head off. And we can see right now we have uh, a map up showing some red areas, which I believe are these level four, uh, the most dangerous areas where Americans are really encouraged not to go. I know we were telling folks earlier this week or yesterday, they kind of compare it to Afghanistan or Iraq. That's how dangerous it can be in these areas. Yeah, you like I said, you can quickly find yourself off the beaten path uh, and in an area where you could be in a lot of trouble very quickly. So again, you want to stay in the populated areas, the well-known tourist areas. And again, if you're fortunate enough to be staying at an all-inclusive beach resort, stay right there. Have your good time. How great it is that our travel uh, uh, allowances are back up and running for the spring breakers and whatnot. But go down there, enjoy yourself, but be careful, be situationally aware, uh, and don't put yourself into a situation that could potentially be very harmful. I'm curious, from a criminal justice perspective, the uh, U.S. Attorney General said they're investigating, you know, they want to prosecute people, but, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this kind of stuff runs rampant in parts of Mexico, right? What are the chances they're actually going to find anybody and, and, and arrest them or prosecute them? Uh, it does run rampant in a lot of places in, in Mexico, and the chances are probably very slim. So, uh, again, the idea is not to put yourself into that situation uh, to allow harm to come to you. And, again, go, enjoy yourself, but please, please, please be situationally aware of where you are and what's around you. Yeah, stay with your friends, stay at the safe resort, and enjoy the, enjoy the beach, perhaps. Robert McDonald, thank you very much from the University of New Haven. Good to see you again this afternoon. We appreciate your time. Anytime. Thank you, Mark. Take care.